about great 15 minutes, well this ain't gonna be good. Hello everyone, this is Eugene Findit speaking, and here is something I haven't done in almost one year now actually, a top 10 anime video. And to start off after the long hiatus, please forgive me guys, I want to share with you guys 10 anime I haven't finished but would like to watch. Basically, these are anime series that I have watched at least one episode of but have not completed them for one reason or another. Of course, I have seen Naruto and Bleach but don't expect them to be here because numbers. And unlike the standard top 10s, this list is not ranked but instead Instead, it's being arranged in alphabetical order. The plan is that by the end of this video, I'm hoping that you as the viewers would leave votes down in the comment section below as to which anime you are most wanting me to continue. And yes, you may leave as many suggestions as you like, but only one vote will be taken for one anime by any one account. And when I decide to end this poll is completely up to me. And with all that said, let's just get straight into the list. Here are the 10 anime that I wish to continue. Begin number one. As a manga Dayo. Here we start off with something that I really, really should have watched. I got the chance to watch Azumanga Dayo because it was shown on Animax. You guys know Animax, right? Right? And what made me reluctant to watch any more on my own is because it only had the two theme songs. Oh yeah, allow me to explain. After I watch any episode of an anime series, I would look up for the opening and ending themes of that episode. And because I have already collected all of that for Az Azumanga Dayo, I didn't see a point in continuing. But after a while, I keep hearing good things about this anime. Plus, it is technically a casual anime series and I really enjoy those. So I really hope that I could continue this series in the future. Number 2. Dead Man Wonderland. Playing with human life is just another form of entertainment. In the case of this one, I watched this because my brother actually bought a DVD of the anime. We ended up watching a couple of episodes during one sitting. That was around the time I had just gone into anime and honestly, I wasn't into the whole psychological horror and gore genre. I am well aware that I keep hearing about how the ending was incomplete and how it should get another season. But with Mangalope gone out of business, that seems highly unlikely unless some other anime studio decides to pick it up. Even so, I have heard a lot of good things about this anime and I'm actually curious to find out why that is, even if just a little bit. Number 3. Elfin Lee. There, I pronounce it that way. Are you guys happy? Now this is the one I have a feeling has the highest chance of winning this poll. Looking around the internet, it is hard not to have heard or seen clips about this anime. One thing I know for sure is that it has some of the goriest and most horrifying scenes I have ever seen in anime. The only other thing I've seen that could beat it is Blood Sea. From that, you know exactly why I didn't want to watch this anime. It actually gave me nightmares. But oddly, it was that very fact that compelled me to check out the first episode. I have not watched any other full episodes since then. But I know for a fact that this anime is held by the anime community in very high regards in terms of its story. And after years of experience, I think I can stomach all the death and gore. So if you want me to experience this right, get on with your vote, people. Number 4. Ginban Kaleidoscope. Two souls are better than one. Or is it? Like Azumanga Dayo, I found out about this anime because of Animax. I didn't continue the anime because of the same reasons as Azumanga Dayo. And from what I've seen, this anime is not really being talked about more than 10 years after its initial airing. And to be honest, the episodes that I've watched, which I believe were the first 2 or 3 episodes, didn't really impress me that much. However, I've seen the reception of this anime and it actually received pretty good reviews by critics. And really, I wouldn't mind watching the whole thing. After all, it only has about 12 episodes anyway. Number 5 Kamikaze Kaito Jin 
of everything in this list, this anime has got to be the least known. I watched this one back when I didn't really know about the existence of the anime universe, which is, if you are well informed about this media, very massive. So in my search for new things to watch with an eeny meeny miny mo mindset, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I ended up with this one. I've watched the first three episodes, and I would say that it is a rather interesting magical girl series. If there is one complaint I have, it would be a lack of necessary backstories. But that's how this anime ends up in this list. Although I am a bit hesitant to watch this anime because it has about 70 plus episodes. But if I'm willing to watch The Grey Man with 103 episodes, this one is child's play. After all, I am still curious as to what goes on next. And while this anime is rather unheard of, that's not the case for this next one. Macross Frontier This is another one that I reckon would get a lot of votes. This time is because my cousin had a DVD for it, and we ended up watching the first three episodes I think. It was definitely one of those in this list that looked really interesting, both in animation and the story. However, this was another one I watched before I got into anime, and when I finally did get into the media, I actually kind of forgot about this one. <laughs> Even so, I am really compelled to watch it because I did see it being awarded for best anime of the year or something? That actually surprised the heck out of me. And after all, there are tons of theme songs that I haven't heard of, which I'm sure they're gonna be pretty darn good. Number 7 Samurai Champloo Now I know what you're gonna say. What? You still haven't finished Samurai Champloo? How dare you? You'll get it if you've seen my top 200 plus anime series video. This is one of the many anime that I have discontinued for a while just because I got distracted by other series. Similar situations have happened for anime such as Fruits Basket, RN High School Host Club, and Sora Online. Whoops. But the only difference is that I've seen the other series. I have always been unwilling to continue Samurai Champloo because all the main characters ever seem to talk about is food. But again, it is another one held in high regards by many anime watchers. And to be honest, I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy the first 5 episodes or so. So guys, get on with your votes. Number 8 Shiki Wow, I really didn't like the horror genre, didn't I? Remember how I said I watched Dead Man Wonderland because my brother bought the DVD? As it turns out, he bought Shiki at the same time. However, I find that not as many people talk about Shiki as they do for Dead Man Wonderland, which is kind of odd because I've heard it being one of the best of its kind. And my god, did the first few episodes creep me the hell out. But hey, I've already seen some pretty scary things aka Higurashi no Nakukuro ni. And while I admit I wasn't all too liking of the characters in Shiki thus far, I see it has potential. And I would really love to continue this series. Number 9 Shugo Chara Now this anime story is a little unusual. Back in the day, I used to watch anime on YouTube, and then I stumbled upon this one. Unfortunately, all that was available on YouTube were freaking fan dubs, and oh my god did they sound terrible. And I was thinking to myself, I have to watch 50 plus episodes of this shit? Uh uh, no freaking way. And that was just one season. But even now that I've learned of the deeper realms of the internet, I never really got back to it. I think its huge length is another reason I didn't really want to watch this anime. But the anime didn't look bad despite the awful fan dubs. And after all, for a magical girl anime, it is probably one of the better ones I've seen. Number 10 Doaru Majutsu no Index you're probably confused now because of this being here. I did put this in my top 200 plus anime series video and I gave it a 9 out of 10 score. The truth is that I finished the spin-off Doaru Gagaku no Ryogan and I really enjoyed both seasons. So I thought to myself, this one can't be too far apart, right? But then I kept hearing about how there ought to be a third season for Doaru Majutsu no Index and I was like, what? 
If I remember correctly, I have finished up to episode 12 or something like that of season 2, so technically I don't have much left to go. I can't really remember why I stopped watching it. Oh wait, I do. It's because of the theme songs. I freaking love the theme songs of the Tuaru series and I wanted to collect them as soon as possible. So I ended up skipping straight to episode 17 where the last two songs of Tuaru Majusu no Index were first played. Teehee! But seriously, I really should be finishing this anime. It is one of my favorites after all. And there you have it, those are 10 anime series that I haven't finished but I would like to watch. And I really do hope that you guys would leave your votes in the comment section below. And maybe I should do something like this. So if you want to vote for this anime series, that's 1866 numbers 1 to 10. That's 1866 numbers 01 to 10. Nah, you don't have to go through that process. But just leave your uh, suggestions in the comment section below of animes that you think you really want me to continue and what you think is the best choice because that's actually a good way. I'm planning on doing this as a test run on future anime polls and stuff that would help me to choose which anime series that I would watch next. And yeah, if this one turns out to be successful, I might do this more often in the future because choosing between different anime series is kind of difficult, especially when I keep hearing mixed reviews about them and then I ended up watching them and I have my own personal opinion. But you know, I'm willing to go as various as possible. Uh, wait. How should I say this? I'm willing to go as far as possible, as long as it is within tolerable levels. So I really hope that this poll becomes a success. And again, when I decide to end this poll, it's completely up to me. And yes, right now I'm in New Zealand, but right now I didn't really have anything much to do. So I thought maybe I'd do something and make something that I haven't done in a while. So I thought I'd come up with this top anime video. And so I'm hoping in the future that I'll make more of these top anime videos, especially when I get back to Australia. So I'm not going to make any promises, okay? but I'll try my best on that aspect. And with only 15 minutes right now because of the copyright strike, I think I should stop talking. So I'll leave this video at that and do stay tuned to the next time of whatever I make. Until next time, bye! Yeah.